Hey everybody, if you're tuning in, I'm Lane, Crafty Life Mom. Okay, let me get my stuff ready here because I kind of hit the button and then <laughs> wasn't completely ready. Okay, closed. I hope this is working because my, it just thundered really loud outside and then it like the lights all flickered and I heard the Alexa like turn on or something. So I hope that I'm I'm good and live. Um I thought it would be fun to come on and paint a sunflower because they're kind of popular right now for am I still live? I think I am. I don't know it just flickered at me. Um so let me say hello, hello again. Um, I'm laying with Crafty Life Mom, going live. It looks like, oh, I got a thumbs up. Good, thank you. So I am going to be painting a sunflower today, guys, and I'm cutting in and out. Oh no. I don't know how to fix it. Should I come back? Should I do a take two? Cutting in and out. Is it better now? Can you guys give me like a thumbs up? It's better now? Okay, good. Yay, because like starting it over is, I hate to do that, but okay, I think we're good too. Okay, so it's raining outside. Like it literally just started raining and every time I try to make a video, it's pouring and I have a huge window over here and you can hear the rain, you can hear the thunder, the cracks of lightning, like every time I'm making a video. Yesterday, I was editing and filming a video um, introduction for a holiday seminar that I'm going to be a part of in, in a couple months. And so we had to like prepare early. It's for like the Christmas holiday season, which I will be sharing more information about that when I'm able to so that you guys can tune into it because it is free and there's like just, it's going to be good. Um, and of course, like right in the middle, it's raining. <laughs> thundering and I'm trying to video my um <laughs> my like hello little spot so crazy crazy but today I'm going to paint this is the first time I have ever like painty painted um painty painted you like that um a door hanger like literally from scratch like um and I guess it's not 100% from scratch but I put a link up in the description of this video and what it has is a um, link to Southern Adornments. Tamara is the owner of that business and she was in, she popped in on my live a, a couple days ago and said hey or whatever. She has um, these awesome wood, they're like MDF, they're not like 100% wood. I think she has wood too, but um, these awesome like cutouts that you can get and I ordered the sunflower I ordered just a, a good size I forget what size I ordered um and so I just I wanted to do a sunflower because one they're super popular right now for fall and in Florida this is a great um <clears throat> theme to kind of go with if you're not ready to decorate for fall and you're still like in the summer mode, but it is August. We are trying to work our way back to school, you know, all those things. And this is like, you know, a sunflower is a happy flower, yellow, good color for summer, but yet, you know, you can bring in the warm tones with it and kind of introduce fall. So how fun um, <clears throat> would this, you know, be to get? So I put a link where you can get your own or you can get any other thing two that she has because she has like a ton and then <clears throat> not only that she has a challenge I don't know how often she does it but when I was over there poking around she has a challenge where you um basically can cut your own and paint your own with her and she has like a clubhouse that you can be a part of I joined it I'm doing it um and it's painting these like three-tiered pumpkins with a buffalo check back, something crazy that looks like I could never do, like painting wise. And she's gonna teach us how to do it in her clubhouse. So definitely check that out too when you pop into the link. I think it just like pops up right there and shows you um, right to her website. And then you can look around at all the different little um, goodies that she has, um, like the sunflower. So I, 
I so you get this you get this when you it comes to you and I like to make it a door hanger um, or like something that I can hang around somewhere in my home like on a hook or you know like a knob or something like that so um, I got into the garage and got my husband's um, you hear the thunder it's like really loud I, I don't know every time um, and I drilled some holes into mine they don't come with the holes just so I just wanted to make that clear I drilled the holes in mine um, because I'm going to attach some beads to it like I always like to do and and use pipe cleaners to do that um, and I just I used to make jewelry years and years ago I have like de stashed my stash but I still have like all these trays you see them right here there's like seven they're still full chock full of beads and I kept several strands of these like wooden beads and so I just remembered I saw these the other day and I thought that um they're just like on that pre-string this would be a cute like touch to the sunflower this darker wood color to make for the door hanger so that's my plan um kind of similar to what I made the other night but this is a sunflower instead and I pulled out some ribbons and stuff like that too to do like some fun whatever with it so I got a new ring light guys so how does my light look does it look okay I have this little remote thing I can change it I know I have a squirrel mentality look does that look better is that better or this one it's like mood lighting I kind of like the bright I don't know you guys tell me um it's a new light I need more light in here so I got a new light um something else that I've seen people do with these once they paint them like all cute and pretty they put a word on it, like hand lettering words, all that sort of thing. And I cannot hand letter. For the longest time, I've been wanting to learn how to do hand lettering, but I cannot do hand lettering. Maybe I will learn soon or something. Um, but a good cheat to that is you can do like a vinyl or you can do a stencil or you can do like some crazy words. Like the Dollar Tree has these cute metal words where you can like layer it on top. I'm not gonna do that, but I just wanted to show you the super cute, and these are large ones. Um, they even have a set for Fallout that says like thankful, blessed, and welcome. That would be actually really cute on this size sunflower. But they have um, these super large ones in their crafter square section. This one says home, and this one says happy. So of course I picked them up. I have no plans to do anything with those just yet but super cute to get those for like a wreath or something okay so i need paint brushes <laughs> if i'm gonna paint so let me grab some paint brushes i have a little um bin of them here and i have no idea what i'm going to need to do this so i'm gonna grab a couple of different sized ones um just because i i don't really know how to like paint something like where it has like dimensions in it and different shades like i've done the painting classes you know i've done those sort of things but i have never done like it totally on my own so we're framing this together today guys okay and so what i did was i picked out some like apple barrel craft paint i have some waverly chalk paint i have some yellows I have a black, a white, a brown, and an orange. And so I just thought, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so um, let me do that. Let me get these open. And I know obviously a sunflower is yellow, but we've gotta do some like shading to it to kind of give it something super cute. I don't, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like we need to do something. Okay, of course I just put it all on there. That's not good. All right, so let me squeeze out some yellow. And this is kind of like school bus yellow. This is called bright, bright yellow. <clears throat> Might be a little too bright for me, um, but that's what I've got. Look how bright that, can you see that? Look how bright that is. Okay, and then I have this Waverly one in a maze, which hopefully this might be a little bit more to my liking. I'm not even sure, but I'm gonna stick this in there and gonna, with the Waverly chalk paint, you kind of have to, oh yeah, so this is a little bit more of a, a nicer, geez, I know you can't really see. Maybe it is the light. Nope, nope. Hmm? Can you see it? 
Jeez, I don't know how to work the mic. Okay, so, <laughs> I don't know. But I do kind of like this color, maybe as like a highlight color. So let's go ahead. The center of your sunflower is a brown. Now, I will say on these like blanks that you can get from Southern Adornments, you can get, um, they, it has like this cute little guide on it right here where it has the circle for me. So I kind of have an idea where the circle ends and begins. Do you hear that thunder? Oh my gosh, it's so loud. So sorry guys. I hope our live keeps working good here. I know I have a pretty good internet connection, but you never know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paint my center brown. I don't even know if this is like the right directions. Um, you know, that's the whole fun of it with these like, um, these door hangers and so i'm just putting on the acrylic paint and i'm kind of staying in the little line that she has pre-drawn on here for me um but it's kind of okay if i go out of it like i think it's going to be okay oh there's my puppy she's not happy about the thunder um yeah it's like a hurricane out there do you guys hear that <laughs> Ooh, it's freaking out okay so luna she's so barking okay honey <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna paint my center and I'm just doing it in a circular motion I'm just gonna kind of talk you through like what I'm doing with it and then we'll kind of go from there and if you has any of you ever painted anything like this it's a door hanger I know some of you are just joining it's a door hanger this is a sunflower shaped that I purchased from the link above. And I know, see there? <laughs> I went off my phone for a second. All right, so I purchased this from Southern Adornments and I'm just kind of painting it to see how this goes. I've never done one of these before. This is an MDF board. It's not like a wood board. It's a wood, but it's like a heavy duty cardboard rather than a wood, um, but it's, it's pretty hard, so. I'm just, I'm gonna start with the center being brown and kind of just let that dry. And then I think I'll probably try to go back and add like maybe some shading in there. I don't really know. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to like the brighter pieces of yellow. So I think to do this, I'm just gonna start with my petal and like kind of just do each one, the outline of that petal. You see, this is like paint with a kindergartner right here. Painting, painting 101. Cause I don't really know what I'm doing with it, but my whole point I guess in showing it to you was that you can find like super cute shapes and just kind of make it your own piece of home decor and you know kind of have fun with it which is the whole point in like decorating your home and making it your own like that's my favorite thing to do is just make my home my own space like every single season um of course i like keep the stuff from year to year but i also like to add to it or like you know take away and then add something different um, I try to do some stuff trendy and then just some stuff that I just personally like whether it's trendy or not um, You know, I try to personalize it to whatever my family has going on With you know, what's going on with all of what's happening in the world Just just whatever like actually I don't try to bring in the craziness of the world, but you know what I mean I try to just do me like within my home and our style and like what's reflecting of us so I'm just painting this around the edges here of my sunflower leaf shapes. And I'm just kind of like letting the paint, can you guys see that? I'm just kind of like dragging the paint downward on the leaf, on the leaf, on the petals, just to kind of help it. I'm gonna lay it back down now that you see that that's what I'm just doing here. So I can actually do it a little bit faster if I, have it laying down like this. This is so adorable. 
I think this is gonna be so cute and I love the like sunshine brightness of it and sunflowers are so hot right now. They're expensive if you buy them in florals like at the craft stores, but you guys, I know the last time that I did a um, Dollar Tree haul, I actually showed um, that I was looking for some sunflowers and I've been back to Dollar Tree since then and I'm here to tell you I did find some that I think are pretty decent. I have them here actually because I thought I might use one in the center of a bow. So I found these. Look how cute those are. Those are from the Dollar Tree. A dollar for five in that bundle. Um, and then I found these cute oranger toned ones. And they have like a tipping of the, that's a pretty nice flower right there. These were kind of like smushed down in the bunches with all the other flowers. So you just kind of have to look and I think it also matters just when you happen to be there and when they actually put the stuff out at Dollar Tree for it to like, you know, matter, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So I'm getting all my yellow base of my flower in there and like some of it, you can kind of see my brush strokes on this board, which isn't bad. I kind of like that um, and I kind of don't. So I'm just kind of filling it in around my sunflower where I painted the brown already. And I think part of doing like these um, door hangers or these like wood cutout shapes is which I'm not really doing a good job of is kind of keeping the paint wet to help it blend together um but I think when you layer on colors and like different textures with these I think it also helps it to kind of take its own life or like its own shape um of dimensions within the flower or within this flower for the same for, you know same for this one so do you hear that thunder that's so thundering there all right so let's take a look at what we think so far okay so this is just your basic yellow and brown center right so okay fine no big deal wow it's a sunflower but it looks so like elementary right we've got to make it cuter because Anybody can just paint it yellow in the brown center. So what I'm going to do, dare I, is I'm going to tap my little yellow brush in with my yellow and kind of mix this darker little bit thing here going on. See that? And so now I'm going to, let's see where, I have to kind of think here. Where would the highlights sort of be? And I'm going to kind of use my flower here as like a guide. So I think it's going to kind of be in the middles of these flower petals. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just dab some browns and yellow together and just kind of sweep that shade within the yellow of my flower petals. And you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I just want to be clear, this is the first time I have ever painted something like this. And I will be honest with you, like I've been wanting to do something like this. Um, so I've been looking to do it, but in all honesty, I have not watched any tutorials. I have not like, you know, and that's not like me. Typically, I do watch somebody do something that I'm interested in before I kind of brave it myself. But this is a first, like, all of it for me. So, um, we're just going to do that live here together, okay? So, what I'm doing is I'm just shooting this little extra color out of the middle petals here. This, like, shaded color. And it's not consistent, which I'm totally okay with because no flower, no real flower is consistently perfect. I mean, there might be some really perfect flowers out there, but if we're being completely honest, I don't think that it is um, completely perfectly like shaded. Okay, so now I've done that to my petals 
And I'm kind of digging it. Let me just kind of brush, brush, brush all the way around. Like I said, I think the key to some of this is just keeping it like wet and blending with your colors. Okay, so here's what I'm going with now. What is it looking better? Do we think it's looking better? You love sunflowers, Amanda? I do too. Well, I like them this year. Like, I kind of have like a new love for them because, well, the, first of all, they're kind of popular, which is cool. Um, and it's a great transition for summer to fall. Like, if you're not ready to decorate for fall, decorate with some sunflowers and then start adding your fall. Okay, so how does it look? Is it looking a little, it's looking a little better, but it's almost still like too painty part like two I don't know it's not it's not quite like where we want it to be yet right okay so I'm gonna now dip into the oh I had a little tag I'm gonna dip into the Waverly yellow which is this um what is the name of this color it's the Waverly chalk paint one so I'm mixing acrylic and regular and I think I'm just gonna try it on one petal first before I tell you like quite exactly what I'm doing, but I think what I'm gonna do is kind of like highlight. Can you see what I did there? I don't know if you can. On this petal, it's a lighter shade, maybe. I don't know if that's gonna, oh, maybe so. I kinda like it when I look at it this way. So yeah, I'm just gonna kinda like pop that in there. And I think with this, it's all about the shading and like the sweeper motion. Let me dip this of your paintbrush. And just, I, I wanna be clear with you guys, I'm so not a painty artist person. Like I know a lot of you that follow me think that I'm very crafty artistic. And I'm crafty, yes. But when it comes to being a Picasso, it's, I'm not there, okay? Like, I'm not that girl. I, I like to think I could be maybe, but I'm really not. Um, it's just not me. But I, I think this is kind of, kind of. see how I have like these three are kind of shaded with that little brown in it, and then these are still that kind of other yellow. I don't know if you can kind of see. I'm trying to get my light going on here. See that like these three kind of have it and then the rest are kind of more blase blase um this little yellow is a nice little highlighter yellow and and i might kind of like randomly do it um i don't know maybe it needs to be on every single one but maybe not every single one you know what i'm saying and and kind of like just work on my uh, shading skills, you know? So have you ever gone to one of those paint places where they tell you how to paint it and what to paint? If, if you've done that, I would say this is kind of like thinking like that, but there's no person there to tell you um, what to do. Like there's no person on this with me today telling me what to do. Let's see. Hey, Marie, when it's not perfect, it's called painterly yes i'm painterly girl i'm gonna be painterly um <laughs> because i i don't know i just thought it would be fun to do right now and and see what we get like i just i just thought it would be fun so let's let's see what we get okay so let's take a look here i have my dollar tree um sunflowers for funsies so to kind of reference <laughs> where the shading ends and begins I'm gonna open up some orange this is a new bottle so bear with me I'm gonna open up some orange and pour it out like next to the brown um, because I see on my little Dollar Tree one here that I that it has like a little more deeper yellowy orange color happening it's not really an orange but it's it's kind of going into that orange color so it is happening um but it's not like super strong i guess i should say okay so i see a little 
smudge here I'm trying to kind of fix. Okay, so there's my little bits here. And so now I think I'm going to save that brush because I kind of like the color that I have going on there with it. Um, so I'm going to take my brown, just a little dab of it, and I'm just going to tap in some orange. Kind of like my stencil method, right? So I'm going to, like, I'm tapping in my brown and I'm tapping in my orange on my plate. Let me show you what I'm doing. See that? So... <clears throat> This is the orange, right? Let, let's, let me be the art teacher right here. Because <laughs> I, I don't know colors. Like the, I know the primary colors. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm tapping the brown out here, like I'm making a little thing. And then I'm picking up some of the orange. I did learn this somewhere along my crafty ways with painting. And then I'm just kind of like making a new color over here, right? <laughs> I'm totally laughing inside right now because you guys are probably like, get on with it girl like come on okay so now I'm just gonna like stifle I think that's the correct word just like with my brush because I'm a little nervous to do this color I'm looking for the holes to see where my top is for this okay so here's the top so I think <laughs> I'm really nervous okay so what I'm gonna do is just kind of like poke this around right here because it's so dark can you even see what I did you can't even see what I did okay let me do a little bit more you see that now? I know. It doesn't look so handy, dude. Does it look okay? Let me see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to kind of just keep going with that all the way around to sort of like smudge together where the yellow ends and the brown begins and vice versa um, with this little orangey brown that I've got going on, right? I think that's going to be the key to kind of like make this look more realistic instead of, you know, like something from, I don't know where. I'm trying to like get out of my, you know, elementary paint skills, if you will, okay? So doing something like this kind of project is kind of fun to explore that. And so I'm just kind of stifling the brush here, around and round and round I go. Just kind of seeing how this works, okay? And so by doing this little, um, woo, you hear that thunder? So by doing this little um, brush method, I don't know what you would really call it, I really like the texturing that it's creating in the brown center part. Um, kind of went a little overboard there. But do you see that? So the outer edge looks a little better than the rest of it. So now I'm just going to take the brown and just fill in that textured look in the center of my sunflower here. Okay. And I think so far, like I'm happy with, you know, the look here of what I've painted as far as shading. I know that I'm going to need to probably add a little bit of white. Um, I'm not really sure where. I do have an idea though that you can do um, maybe as like a little guide or um, you know something helpful. You could type in Google painted sunflower and just see in the images what kind of shading that they have going on with their sunflowers which I'm just going to do that right here. Some of them have white in the middle, some of them don't, some of them have it on the leaves. Like there is all kinds of crazy painted sunflowers. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to, I don't think mine are going to look like that. It's going to look like my own, but so here's what I have so far. What do we think? Guys, tell me down below. Do you like what's coming out with it? Or are you like, it still looks, you know, kind of basic. Like tell me your thoughts. I really want to know. All right. So while you guys are telling me what I should do next with it, I'm going to squirt some white out to my plate here. And I'm going to, I think, add some whimsy maybe to my sunflower. Um, 
I've seen that with some door hangers where it's painted to look kind of natural and then there's like a layer of whimsy into the um, the door hanger. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's some stripes, there's polka dots, there's a pattern. And so I've seen that before. I'm not really seeing any of them here in, in Google. Um, but, you know, maybe it's just because I'm not supposed to do that today. I don't know. But I think I kind of want to add a polka dotted element to it. So, um, I and I'm a tiny ones, like little seed like ones, right? So, what I'm going to do is poke my um, this little skinny brush into the white. And I'm just going to kind of like drop down in where I think uh, these little polka dotty things might kind of be on a, you know, like the whimsy part of it, okay? Some whimsy, whimsical fun with my little sunflower. Look how, this is kind of cute, guys. I'm kind of digging it. Maybe I need some more of these little dots. And I'm just kind of block dabbing it. Some of them are perfectly round and some of them aren't. Look at that. What do we think? I kind of got a big one going on right there. I don't think I can fix that. Let me see. Maybe I can paint that brown. Oh, yeah. Let me just get rid of that big one. And I will go back and make it smaller. Because that one was just kind of sticking out like a sore thumb right there. So, let me go back with the white. And I can put, like, maybe two there. Okay. So, what do we think? Yes? I think that's uh, kind of cute. I think I need some white highlights going on but before I do I'm gonna add a little bit of um because like look at my Dollar Tree ones right here you see how deep down in the center they have some orange happening so I think I'm gonna try and get that going on a little tiny bit I don't know I don't know if I like it Maybe coming out of the brown parts of it. What do you guys think? I'm not sure I'm in love with that. I don't think I like the orange. You see the orange I did on there? I'm not in love with the orange. All right, so I'm going to kind of go back to my yellow mixture and just fix it. I think that's the beauty of paint. You can kind of just fix that mistake, you know? It's not like vinyl where you kind of have it, it's ruined and you got to start over with a new piece. So that's something that's kind of fun with it. Kind of going back over your paint and re-blending it out. All right, so I definitely like, um, the white pops of color in there throughout. So now I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of come like out of my leaves with the white and just kind of add some highlights. And it kind of like that, did you see that? Just to kind of give it some, something extra. I keep saying that, I know something extra um, and I'm going to lay it down to kind of do little little drags of the white here and there and nothing like completely the same like petal to petal just something different okay All right, I'm kind of liking this white with it. And I also feel like maybe some teeny tiny specks of brown might even look good um, with it. What do you guys think? A little bit of brown? Yes or no, looks good. Okay, I'll show you what I did here with the white. All right, so here's my white. What do we think? Does it look so much? You guys, I kind of like it the way it's turning out. It's really cute. No? What do you think? I think I need a little bit, like I have a teeny tiny little 
like barely there brush and I think I could add some brown with the highlight of it like shooting out with the white kind of like that let me lay it down so I get a better handle on it Super cute. Oh yeah, I love this with it. The brown is just, I really feel like a real painter now that I've done this. And I, if you guys are interested in painting one like this, they're super affordable. You can find them at that link I, um, I shared in the description from Southern Adornments. She has some craft challenges or stuff going on. I signed up to do one. So if you want to find, you know, check it out. It's like only 10 bucks to do that. Or you can get a door hanger. You can do both, whatever. Um, but you can find me over there. I'll be in that group following along trying to paint. <laughs> All right, so there it is with the brown. So what do we think? Is it looking cute or no? Do you guys think that I need to add anything? Let me see if I can get it closer. Do I need to add anything to it? What do you think? Jeez, my little notifications keep going off. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side and kind of let it dry. Um, I don't know where my caps go here. Where the color is that? Maybe that's to brown, I don't know. Um, okay, and what I'm gonna do now is, remember the wood beads I talked about earlier? I'm gonna open up the strand here Hopefully they don't run off all over the place. They tend to, beads tend to do, oh, they, look, they just did. They always do. I should have known. After years of making jewelry, these little guys like to run everywhere as soon as you cut the string. And that one just rolled in the paint. So, that would be a good one. All right, so what I like to do is, whoop, the last time I did one of these is I strung it I strung it through the whole first of the door hanger and then I did my beads. So when I do anything like a door hanger where I'm adding a, my own handle, this is just a tip. The other day I added the pipe cleaner first to the, um, to the door hanger, but today I got the idea to go ahead and just add them to the pipe cleaner first. And I like to do a pipe cleaner because number one, it's wired. So it's, it's like a harder, string if you will that will help you string practically any size whole bead these are probably an eight millimeter bead and the hole is super tiny but a pipe cleaner wire will go through it so tip for you string it on there these are also super cute and fun easy ways to like make little bracelets for kids because it holds the Look, it's like holding all my beads on there and because it's a pipe cleaner, it's a wire, they're not falling off, right? They're not like running away from me. So just a little tip, like if it's not real jewelry that you're making for like yourself, you know, but it's more like fun or if you're doing something like a handle, try a pipe cleaner. You can also put multiple ones together to get a thicker, um, you know, like a thicker base. You can braid them whatever, and I like to buy a pack of these in the natural um, colored ones, like this. Oh, let me get that up, another notification. Um, just so, you know, it's more of a blended in color, I guess, because I do a lot with the wood beads. And so, so this sunflower is a lot, like you can tell, like this strand is gonna need a lot more. So I actually pulled out two pipe cleaners. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and add this one to the end like that. And you kind of have to start it into the beads to get on there, but now I should be able to move them along and get a few more on. Yeah, good. Let me get it twisted. 
get a few more onto my end here before I tie it on. And then I'll have a decent size like little door hanger handle um, for my project. So I'll probably put like, I don't know, two, three more on. All right, so that looks like it's probably the best. So yeah, look at that, pretty cool, huh? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, just like I did the other night, I'm gonna pipe cleaner this on into place, twist it on there, and this has a little section of like yellow paint that is so wet, so I'm getting the yellow paint all on my fingers, but that's okay, I don't mind it. And then I drilled mine like two holes apart down here, so I'm gonna do this side, and you'll just pull it all the way to the end and wrap it around like that. And then you have your little hanger right here. And I probably could have even done it a little bit longer, but oh well, that's what I have. Um, that's what I'm working with, okay? All right, so it's still drying, so I'm gonna leave that down. And then of course, before we go, I'm gonna add a bow to it because Everything is better with a bow. So I have this um, burlap green color from the Dollar Tree. And let me get this out of there. I, and I'm just cutting two sprigs of that. Let's see what else do I have. I brought out that white that I had from the other night. I don't have much of this one left, so you know, might as well use some of it up here. Let's see how much do I have here. I probably have enough to do three pieces of this ribbon left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that into three equal parts like this. Dun, 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 dun. I'll use two of them. And then I have some fall um, Dollar Tree ribbon in my stash that I just actually just purchased it the other day whenever, whenever I was last there, I don't remember. So I'm gonna do two of that. Okay, I have some regular burlap ribbon right here from also the Dollar Tree, but I think that's like maybe too much of the natural tones going on. And then let's see, I have jute twine, I'm gonna pull out my glue gun and get that going. Um, I have, oh gosh guys, I have tons of stuff. I have these little pieces right here. I have some orange from the other night. Oh, look what I have. I have, this is yellow and brown sunflowers from Walmart. So, I, or no, that's from Dollar Tree, I believe. So I'm gonna put a piece of that into this little project because this one is kind of a flimsy one. It's not wired. It would be nice if it was, but for a dollar for this spule, you can't beat that. So let's just throw in some of that. I think that would be super cute into this project, okay? All right, so if you're new to this, this is not my bow. This is actually from another crafter. This is her style, but I do it all the time. I just do the same ribbons. And I do the inverted, oh wait, I did the wrong way. Do you see that? Look, I do it wrong too. So I do the um, inverted V like that on my ribbons, okay? And I usually do two. And this is how I make a bow. Now there's another way you can make a bow with like the loops, but these are these messy bows. And I love to do these because they are quick they are easy, they add a fun element to just about any project, and they're just so adorable. So I usually get like two of each of those ribbons. Let me get this one cut here, I have a weird tail happening. Um, and I lay down my biggest one first, so I do like three like this, okay, or two like this in a crisscross, and then I'm gonna add the green probably because I think, you know, why not have that bright color in there? Um, and then I'm gonna do the burlapy stripe, which my green ones are looking to be a little long. I can see that already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim those down right now because I can already tell they're too long. I'm just gonna take about, you know, not a full inch, maybe three quarters of an inch and crisscross those into place along with my 
burlapy ones here, my yellow sunflower ribbon, which is super adorable. I'll put those on top like that. And then all you need to do is just, that's it right there. All you need to do is then fold the ribbon up and then like the little edges down. So it's kind of like crazy, but it's pinching together at the middle, right? Cause that's what we want. That's what we want it to be. And then I just take like, this is the leftover pipe cleaner. I just take that and wrap it to the back. You can certainly do another piece of ribbon and tie it. You can do, do, do twine. You can certainly do whatever you want to do to like secure it. And then from the back side, I kind of like to pre-fluff it like down and out. Let me pull my little pipe cleaners up here like that. And so that's what I have for right now. And then from this point, you can kind of lift it. And this like one is super crazy. So let me cut that one down. Um, you can lift it up. You can trim it, put some angles in the other ribbons, whatever you want to do. And that's a quick and easy bow um, that you can make. So I can't take credit for this one, but it is, I use it all the time. And at Christmas time, just a fun little tip for you guys, you can do this with a bunch of Christmas ribbons, okay? Even with the greenery pipe cleaners that are from the Dollar Tree, add some of those into a bow. And then at Christmas time, when you're decorating your Christmas tree and you want it to look a little bit more full and a little bit more grand, make a bunch of your own picks. So much more affordable. And you can put these all around your tree if you like bend them up like this, like like a like a like an umbrella kind of. And then you can attach these to your tree and now your tree looks more full. Maybe I'll show you guys at Christmas. Okay. So anyway, but it's also cute as a bow. So that's what we're using it for today. And this one doesn't have like no cute like center thing kind of going on, which is totally fine. Let's see, let me get my brown ribbons kind of poking out here and show those off a little bit. See that? Oopsie doopsie. All right, let me get this one. Kind of have to play with it too to kind of get them. But see now that it's fanned out just a little bit more, you see that that's a little bit better. So now hopefully my sunflower is dry. So what I'm gonna do now is just attach this bow let me see, I kind of like it to the left. Everything is better with a bow. I'm gonna attach it to the left side of this one. Back here again with the pipe cleaner and I'm just twisting it, you guys see that? And you can cut your tails off or you can like, whatever you wanna do. And then I'm just gonna play with this bow. My little hanger part kind of just disappears out of there and that's totally fine, like I don't care. It's fine with me. Okay, so let's see. Let me situate this. All right, I'm gonna lay it down just so I can get this. I think I need to tighten it up, so let me do that. Yeah, I need to just pull it tighter and get this twisted down a little bit better. Kind of harder on the sunflower because it's got the pointy edge instead of the round spot, so there's like nothing right there for it to kind of lay with, so. Let me get that kind of turned. And I know I'm pushing it down and then like re-fluffing it up, but that's part of the process of just making this, you know, have its cute factor. I definitely like having the green in there. And then I've got my glue gun ready. I'm gonna pull off one of my sunflowers. Let me cut this little edge off, okay? And I'm just gonna put some glue right there in the center and a sunflower for the sunflower, right? This is so cute. I think this is adorable, guys. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Look at that ribbon. Kinda like, that ribbon is so long right there. But what do we think? Do we like it? Is it cute? You guys liked it? Would you put this in your home? Maybe, maybe not, you don't know. And I think it's super adorable. It kind of needs to lean that way, I think. There we go. How cute is that? I think this is adorable. It's kind of fun, it's festive. It's a great project that's like able to decorate in your home and lead to 
going um, from summer into fall, so how adorable. And if you wanna get one of these sunflowers, I put the link up there um, where you can actually click on it and see and check it all out for yourself. Um, Tamara, she has that business and I think it's a super fun one. So I had fun with you guys painting today and I will see you all next time. If you guys wanna see a specific project or if you wanna see a specific type of project or like decorating with pumpkins or gnomes, all the things that are kind of trendy right now, leave a comment, let me know, or just send me a message and I'll be happy to include it in my list of projects because I have several. So um, I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. Happy crafting. Bye.